This being Thursday, Dr. Joe's here to answer your pet questions this morning. He has brought along Bart, a 10-week-old male basset hound mix. There's Bart. Let's get a close-up of him. And I just uh, took a picture with him, so I need a lint roller because Bart's got a little <laughs> bit of hair. And you wear a dark a jacket, bit, and Bart leaves a little bit of himself behind. But that's part of his charms. What a sweetheart. He's how old? 10 weeks. He's about 10 weeks. He's got a, he's got a brother. He's a little bit uh, whiny. He's probably not the... Um, not the leader of the little pack there, so but he's doing he's doing good. Uh, these little guys, I was saying at first a couple weeks ago, they were kind of square, and now he's getting longer, but not any taller. So I'm suspecting Bassett, but I don't know. I mean, they're growing at a pretty good clip, so he'll be kind of a bigger dog, probably 40 mm -hmm, pounds mm -hmm. or so, so. And when you say a little whiny, what do you mean? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> which is a typical hound thing to do when you're not sure where your pals are. You whine so that everyone comes together and can commiserate uh, or, <laughs> Look at that or shot. do whatever they, yeah. He's got that little stripe right down the middle of his head. He does. And little brown That's eyebrows. I think he's and he's wagging his, his tail a lot. Well, he's he a sweet. He wagging his tail a lot. So okay, there, he's wagging it right now. Oh, he's oh, he he likes himself? he likes Brian what back happened? there behind the camera. No, no, that was it was yourself, buddy. <laughs> oh, he's seeing himself and he's, he's barking at himself, him. and yeah. he has a brother that looks kind of just like him. So I'm not sure what he's happened. saying. Hi, it's bro. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, well here's a question from Corey. I'm thinking of getting my yes. dog an anxiety blanket. Yes. Are they safe to use? So, you know, uh, anxiety blankets like the Thunder Shirt, they're very safe to use. Um, they definitely should be one of the first things that you try along with Benadryl. Uh, I suppose the fireworks are going to go on for a few more days or whatever. And most of them really tolerate it really well. Every once in a while, they'll chew them up. So I'll tell people you want to watch and make sure they don't decide to, you know, mm -hmm. eat the Thunder Shirt. But other than that, yeah. And the they're... Thunder Shirt is a known product. It's a, like... it's a known product. Yeah, that's kind of kind of deal. But really what it does is kind of like swaddling yeah. a baby. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's supposed to make him feel kind of safe. So, like when he was scared before, I just kind of did this with him. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, okay, well, we're, we're, we're good, you know. Uh, it's the least of, I mean, I'll, t I'll tell people a lot of times if they have a lot of anxiety, that won't do it for them. They need something kind of stronger. So you can okay. call your vet and get a tranquilizer. Okay. So. Jackie wants to know, my yes. cat has recently been pulling out her hair, but it always grows back. Could this be related to allergies or the dry air in a house? Yeah, there's a lot of reasons for the hair to, you know, kind of have hair loss or whatever. Um, you know, and you should see your veterinarian make sure there's no fleas or infection. Allergies are very common as well. The fact that it kind of grows back, you know, you think of a couple of different deals. But, um, you know, usually the air is not too dry this time of year, um, but usually, you know, kind of allergies or something. So she might get that checked out, especially if it looks infected. So. We saw a dog yesterday or sometime this week uh, bitten by a rattlesnake out oh, in yeah. Arizona, you know, all swollen up. Daniel wants to know, a yellow jacket stung my dog. What can I do for treatment? Yeah, you know, um, the first thing we usually tell people is if you see this thing, you know, give Benadryl at a milligram per pound. So like a 25-pound dog would take one, which seems like a high dose, but it, for them, they, they metabolize it really quickly. If the swelling persists and, and you can put some cold presses on it or whatever, and if it persists and so they can't walk on it and they really start kind of yelling, uh, then you can go to the veterinarian and get like a shot of something that's a lot more uh, 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 powerful. So the it just kind of depends. The other I'll tell people, honestly, if you kind of see them around, there's different things you can do to find the nest and kill the nest mm -hmm. kind of as a preventative measure for yourself <laughs> as well as your dogs because because I don't like getting stung. Personally. No, who does? Yeah. So we ought to take a picture of Bart as we leave, as we are going out here and see if we can get him to bark at himself again. <laughs> And as he's looking at himself, I'll tell you that if you have a question for Dr. Joe about your pets, post it to our Facebook page, KJRHTV. If you'd like to adopt Bart, you can call Heritage Veterinarian Services at the number on your screen. If you want to learn more about the uh, hospital or see other pets or need homes, go to our website, KJRH.com. Bart and Joe, thanks for coming in today. Well, thank you. Thank you, Bart. Okay, Lisa and Taft. He's cute.